Well, hello, Dirtfish Rally friends. We're at the start of stage 10 and stage 13, the legendary Tarzan stage. It ran last year, but before that, it's quite some time since we'd seen it on the itinerary of the Acropolis Rally. It's absolutely gorgeous up here. We're up high in the mountains to the west of Lamia, around about 13, 1400 meters. And what does that mean? It means we very much get our own weather systems up here. It's been a little bit wet before the recce. Temperatures though, on Saturday when this stage runs, are predicted to be maybe as high as 34, 35 degrees. But in the intro, I mentioned the legend of Tarzan. That legend was forged way back in the glory days of the Acropolis Rally. We thought we would talk to a man who knows almost as much about the Acropolis as anyone. Just to find out a little bit more about this stage, it's George Donaldson. Up and down the edge of the mountains through sinuous little valleys that connect down to the main valley between Lamia and Carpenisi, a stage that would strike fear into the heart of many drivers and many team managers and team mechanics. The stage name is Tarzan. Drivers would reach the end of that stage drenched in sweat, covered in dust, streaks of sweat in their faces, gasping for a drink. More interested in that than even the stage time. They had got to the finish, they had survived. An incredible test, a classic one, where you would never make a mistake, but you would often retire your rally car just through the toughness of the stage. Rock faces, drops, crevices, tight corners with holes in the middle, with occasional fast places just to tempt you into a false sense of security, just all waiting to catch the unwary or more likely fatigued driver. A great stage, one to be wary of, one to watch. There will be jeopardy in there. You know what this stage really does have a little bit of everything in it. The start of the stage up in the Carpanisi Mountains, 1400 meters, over 4,000 feet. It's damp, it's wet, it's dark under the canopy of trees. There's mud, there are ruts, there's standing water. Will that still be there on Saturday? I suspect so. But as you come down through the stage, down the hill, through the hairpins, you can tell in places very, very soft, very muddy. You come into these hairpins and just look at this. It's reminiscent, isn't it, of the rock gardens of Kenya. These are enormous, enormous rocks. What's very interesting, the wreck has already been through. They've gone around the outside. We're gonna call this a rock garden, off this rock garden. Who's gonna be brave enough in the event though to take this cut here? This is the natural line, isn't it? Nice and tight and away around the hairpin. But what lies beneath? I'll tell you what lies beneath. There's more of this stuff. It is one of those stages that really anything can happen. It's a stage that requires absolute respect, focus and concentration. It's a car braking stage. The slippery braking points could be an issue in here. I can't wait to see this one. First pass, that's gonna be difficult. Just you wait till you see the second pass though, when all of this is well, gnarly and rocky and dug up. It's going to be a fascinating stage, folks. Watch out for the Tarzan stage on the Saturday here on the Acropolis Rally of the Gods. Mm -hmm.